Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we have some special guests here because we are doing actually our first commission build on this channel. So what we have here is the Gamma K K87. This is a um, acrylic kit and it does look nice and it actually resembles quite a lot like the Echo ACR64 last time we did. Oh, right. And yeah. then her requirement is she wants the most RGB brightest it will ever be and also look cute at the same time. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Must sound top. Okay, must sound top. There's also one requirement. And for that requirement, that means her switches need to be either white or semi-transparent. Correct? Yes. Because you don't want to mess with RGB. Yes. Yes. Ideally. <laughs> so, but she is keeping everything stock as of now. So she's going to change out the keycaps, the switch, and we maybe will apply a couple of mods there because you know like as previously mentioned, acrylic kits, especially the stack acrylic ones, tend to not have a lot of space for you to stuff things in, like foams maybe one layer or something. So yeah, let's try and see what can we do with this bot. Yay. So for this kit, it comes with whatever pink blue OEM profile keycaps and the switch bed oh, this one oh this one is get get red get around red and I presume it is stock and plate mount steps you got free DNA sample if you want free DNA sample and listen to this yeah completely dry so dry drier than me <laughs> trash yeah of course it's trash objectively worse objectively. so but anyway the switches we are going to use is actually this one these are the uh, KTT Kang Whites. Uh, these are linear switches. They are made out of your usual combo, PC top, milky bottom, not milky bottom, by nylon and a step, palm stem. They bottom up at about 58 grams and they use a progressive spring. So that means that when you bottom out and you keep holding it, you'll feel it actually slightly heavier at about 60, 62 grams kind of feeling. Mm. And these are three pins and they are known for their marbly sound as this is one of the cheapest one that you can achieve your creamy top. Oh yeah, one of her requirements is a obnoxiously loud keyboard. Yes. So you know so we are done with the creamy part. So for the top part she is going to replace with these keycaps that are known as your Maho Maho Shoujo keycap. These are uh, XDA profiles and they come in like your come in pinks, greens, whites, magical girl keycap. Yeah, Maho so, Shoujo means magical girl by the way. Uh-huh. So yeah, I guess we just pop it open, replace the things, and see what kind of mods we can make it slightly better. Yeah, I don't know what mod you want to put. If you put some mod, then it will can be seen from the bottom. Just don't flip it over. Doesn't matter. Okay, she says doesn't matter. Okay, okay let's, fine. Let's, let's do it. Do it. Done building the keyboard, uh, so thoughts, she says she's okay with this keyboard, loud enough, pretty enough, RGB enough. Yeah, and for the entire process, I think it's very closely to like every other stack acrylic kits out there. So you just like open up, then you remove switch, remove keycaps, then you basically access the entire PCB and you just give it a little tech mod if you want just little polyfill then for the rest the steps is actually pretty okay except for the space bar you just need to do a little wire balancing and if there's any ticking little 
uh, holy mod should be fine. Yeah. But yeah. as long as you hit the middle portion, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, and then who who wants to get this key cap is actually called Maho Shoujo. I think it's inspired by the Kakato Sakura anyway. You got the wings, you got the staff, you got the flying red thing. Don't know what's the thing called. Kero. <laughs> okay, Kero. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, this one is uh, pretty enough, colorful enough. Yeah. Lots of RGB, pinks, yellows, greens. Yes, actually I like this color scheme. Pistol. Pastel. Okay, pastel color. Yeah, and I think like it's not too over pink or anything. I mean like it's not within like your usual e eagle zone. I guess. <laughs> yeah, and then she yeah. says she like it, so seal of approval. Yeah, seal of approval. Okay. So okay, so yeah, that's the end of this video for modding the Gamma K K87. And yeah. we'll see you in the next one. Commissioned by the same woman. Peace. Yeah, time to eat. <laughs>